So speaking of Donald Trump, amidst all this in the uh, Middle East, the former president minimized traumatic brain injuries suffered by U.S. troops while he was president, calling them, quote, headaches. Speaking in Milwaukee on Tuesday, Trump was asked about his White House's response to a 2020 attack on a U.S. military base in Iraq by Iran. Take a look. Do you believe that you should have been tougher uh, on Iran after they had launched ballistic missiles in 2020 uh, on U.S. forces in Iraq, leaving more than 100 uh, U.S. soldiers injured? So, first of all, injured. What does injured mean? Injured means you mean because they had a headache, because the bombs never hit the fort. So just so you understand, uh, there was nobody ever tougher in Iraq. Oof. The Pentagon says 109 U.S. troops were diagnosed with traumatic brain injuries that after a run, a missile barrage in uh, 2020, after that uh, barrage, Trump dismisses them as headaches. Trump also weighed in on the conflict between Iran and Israel. Uh, this has really been bad, but uh, they have to finish that process. What, however it turns out, they have to finish the process. This is... Uh, a little bit like uh, two kids fighting in the schoolyard. Sometimes you have to just sort of let it go a little bit, and uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, th it's really caused by a lack of respect for the United States of America. Oh, my God. Michael Steele, um, it's, it's not even funny. Um, it it's would not. be, but it, it's just not. It's not. Um, first of all, headaches, traumatic brain injuries, big difference. He doesn't care. For anybody who still doesn't get it, he doesn't care about anybody but himself. He doesn't care. But as a solution to the situation in the Middle East, let it go. We'll see what happens. Why doesn't he add in another token line that he always puts in there? We'll have a solution in two weeks. We'll have health care in two weeks, in two weeks, in two weeks. This man has no grasp on the issues and no answers None. and no solutions, just pat lines that he turns back to, almost like someone who's kind of grasping for an answer. He, he is a fool, uh, uh, an incompetent individual who does not read even the briefings that he still gets as a former president on some of these things, so he at least have some workable knowledge of events there. Um, he is waiting. He has to wait to be told what Putin tells him to think about this affair. Um, because that's where his alliance, is, his allegiance is. But the most galling and insulting part of this is to minimize the traumatic mm -hmm. injuries to our servicemen and women um, who um, took the incoming barrage from uh, Iranian missiles and who, as been reported, have been, were denied their Purple Hearts as a consequence of that because the Pentagon wow. was dancing around how not to offend the president um, because he didn't think it was that important. And these were just headaches or these were just, these were minor injuries. And he didn't want, here's the galling part. He didn't want that stain on his administration where something like this happened on his administration, on his watch. Uh, that our soldiers were injured, injured in conflict, um, and now he wants to whitewash it and say, oh, injured, what does injury mean? What does being injured mean? Well, it means you mm -hmm. get a Purple Heart for the services that you uh, provided our country to protect and defend us on foreign soil, to represent our interests, to protect our interests. But that is a foreign concept to this man. And the country needs to wake itself up out of this stupor because this does not get better with him there. He will not solve these problems. He is the progenitor of these problems. He, is, he will be the focal point of the expansion of these problems because they're unimportant to him. And, you know, we're 30 some days out from an election in which half the country is looking to put this idiot back in office. Are you kidding me? It's Are funny. you kidding me? This is the man who diminishes the public. I don't want to go to that graveyard because there are dead soldiers there when he's in 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 in, in Europe in France. I, I you know I think that John McCain's service. Well, he got captured. 
no appreciation of what what that means to have a soldier who gives up coming home because he didn't want to leave his fellow servicemen and servicemen behind. I mean, this this lack of appreciation is is a stain on our country when it comes from a president. And I think y'all need to think about this long and hard because you think this is going to be somehow different, that the Middle East problem is just going to go away soon as Donald Trump is inaugurated, that, that Putin is going to sit back and go, you know what, Donald Trump is now president. Oh, my God, let me get out of Ukraine. Come on, stop being stupid, people. Get your head and get in the game and understand what's about to happen. I mean, the warning signs have been there. The problem is in the House. <laughs> It's very anyway. clear. Thank you, Michael. Uh, coming up.